Enclave Radio with your host, me, President John Henry. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eaton. I'd like to have a chat. It's time we discuss something rather important. The issue at hand is, well, my presidency. The question is...
very foundation of a democracy? Fortunately, in the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. What do you need? Bye. Yeah? Give me a shout if you need anything. Bye. Why don't you look where you're going? Good to see you. What's the big idea? Yes? Well now, if it isn't the little villain from the vault, 
We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the evil that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? And now it's time for you to die. Ha <laughs> ha! No. No, I don't think so. Uh <laughs>
Hey there. Yeah, what is it? Sure, give me whatever you got. You've helped me so much. It... You... I... I... You saved my life. I've been drinking whatever I can find, but I can't do it anymore. I need purified water. Please. If you find any... Welcome to... Megaton. Please stand clear. There must the be somewhere safe out there. Give me whatever you got. What do you need? Well, hello? So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priest? Or some sort of scaly community center? Okay, yes, they're jerks. But if they're intelligent, we can get them to stop and and train them. Oh, maybe we could even ride them. Oh, that'd be fun. Absolutely. Good hunting!
Don't try. Anything.
You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. There's a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this Tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? Open your eyes, kid. Does it look like I got a fortune? Now bugger off before I get angry. Hello. What is it? Live it up while it lasts. Open fire. What do you think you're doing?
Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone, but someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. Please don't hurt me! Oh, well... We don't really have much, um... HELP! Found you. Oh, hello. I, I wouldn't want to see... Am I back? Please don't... Assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. If you want to help us, talk to Roy Phillips. Oh, okay then. Have a nice one. What do you want? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong scurrying around in that dark, dank, underbelly of the wasteland? You got a lot of nerve. You're right. It's none of your business. You best get out of here, kid, before something ugly happens. What do you want? You better choose your next words really carefully, because you're starting to piss me off. Sure, whatever you say. You pretentious, two-faced asshole. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid. Or dropped on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself. Sends a boy to do his dirty work. You think you got what it takes? You picked the wrong ghoul to fuck with, kid. Yeah, bring it up.
Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Hey, I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustav. Run along now. Good evening, sir. What? I... I know you. You're that guy. You know, the one that... whatever. Right on. Care to quit your whistle? I have an excellent selection of thirst quenchers. Just call me if you want that freshened. Cheers. I'm on duty, can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly.
Good to see you. Huh. Didn't think you had it in you. Guess you proved me wrong. Good job. Knowing those ghouls are gone takes a load off my mind. Thanks. You'll be wanting the reward now, won't you? I suppose you've earned it. There's your caps. Contract fulfilled, debt paid. This don't mean we're buddies, all right? Now get going. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, another soul to add my... You came to visit! Here... Those assholes in Lamplight said that this place was great. And now, one of my inspirational quotes. From the mouth of your president, John Henry... This place gets worse all the time. Straight to your heart. You got a problem? The manners of women are the surest criterion by which to determine whether a Republican government is practicable in a nation or not. Hello again, America. This is John Henry Eden, your president. There are some things we should talk about, if that's all right. When I was a child, growing up in rural... If it isn't our local scavenger for hire, what have you found for us today? Let's see what you've got. It's practically just... There you go. There's hoping you don't have... Okay then. Sure, fine. Get going.
What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! Well, they're not. They're killers. Every one of them. Run! Get out while you can! Don't believe me, do you? Just check out the basement or that shed. There's a reason they're locked. Get out! Get out while you can! You won't get away with that. Get out of town while you still can! Well, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, that old kidder? Whatever he's saying, he's just pulling your leg. He's always choking that one. I feed my family, and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first. And any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. And you should hit that man with a stick. Why, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room, as amazing as Andale is. Is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? Poor guy. His wife died and he went, well, crazy, I guess. He won't talk to any of us anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive, poor guy. He's all skin and bones. Hey, you have a great day. there. I heard there was someone new coming. How can our little family help you? Are you joking? It's fantastic here. The best town in the USA. Has been for why it's been so many years running that I've lost count. 
Well, Dad always was a bit off his rocker. Oh dear, I let that slip, didn't I? He used to be. Until I got married. I, I can't really say much more than that. Oh, well, no one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. We'll see you again, won't we? These radical malcontents don't care about you. They don't care about America. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Not supposed to talk to strangers. There are, of course, the raiders. Those anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on any and all steel murdering. The so-called Brotherhood of Steel. Don't be fooled by their pseudo nightly nonsense or supposed connections to the United States Army. These well, hello there. Armored Boy Scouts are nothing more than Hello there, fella. Good to meet you. Name's Smith, Jack Smith. Welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Not here, not in Andale, no sir. The great commonwealth of Virginia is alive and well. In fact, we just voted ourselves a new governor. Yes, sir, it's every American's civic duty to cast his vote for his favorite Republican candidate. Am I right? No, sir, not crazy. Just a loyal American. Now, now, my vote is my business and no one else's. But I'll tell you one thing. We didn't vote for any beatnik liberal commies, that's for sure. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? Oh, old man Harris? Don't mind him. He's gone, you know, a little soft in his later years. Ever since Gladys died, he just hasn't been the same. Did he now? I've talked to him about spreading rumors. I guess I'll just have to have another little chat with him. Every time he does this, he scares our new friends off, and we love people. It's a shame when they slip out of our grubby little paws. <laughs> I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Yeah, well, he's hit it rough. Ever since his wife died, he just hasn't been enthusiastic about the Andale lifestyle anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day, and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive. Poor guy, he's all skin and bones. Come back any time. We look forward to having you. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here, and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse, that there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house, and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement, or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. 
Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him, and we're in the family business. It's swell, except I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm gonna have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going, and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle, and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. Gosh, I wish I could go with you. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Greed, violence, and destruction. The very seat of the federal government, Washington. Well, hello. Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. The capital wasteland. Well, I don't right know. But we're the best one. Isn't that what matters? I mean, we're the winners. Us. Not Springfield. Not Rockville. Us. So, like I was saying, Welcome to Andale. What can the Smith family do for you? Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have to have Jack give him a talking to. It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? Really? Don't be such a stranger. Rest assured. I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eden builds a country, he builds it to last. The American way. Don't you, my darling America, deserve that? It's a fine Don't day, isn't it? deserve a future free of war and fear and terrible uncertainty? Of course you... What are we standing around here for? President of sure, give me whatever you got. Hello. <laughs> well, that takes time, even for the Enclave. Till we meet again, this is John Henry Eden signing off. Glorious day. Isn't it? Mm. Dinner smells delicious, honey. Morning. Hey there. <laughs> Hello there. Cut it out! around here for sure give me whatever you got Hey there, stranger. I've got something that I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you're poking around in my basement. So, be honest now, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? 
You're right, it sure would have. You know, you're a breath of fresh air. Every time someone discovers our little secret, we have to hear about it. It's always, oh, how can you do this? Or, you're such terrible people. Or, please, not me. I have a kid in Rivet City. Well, I have kids, too. Family first. That's the way it works in Andale. From the day that the first four families decided to stay here. You're not bad, stranger. Stop on by any time and ask Linda for one of her special meat pies. I'll tell Linda and Junior that you said hello. Well, hello again. How can the Wilson clan help you today? Come back. It's a fine day, isn't it? Hey, stranger. Come on over here. I'd like to talk to you about something. Hey there. Good to see you again. You should really stop. Hello again. Stick around for a while. I'm thinking about making some meat cookies later. Isn't that exciting? Oh, of course. Here you are. Enjoy. Come on back to our home anytime. Good to see you. Well, hello there. Are you okay? Good to see you. Not a good idea. Hi. I wish I was like you. Get out of here! Get out of here! Run!
here. What is it? Sure. Give me whatever you got. Yeah, what is it? I sure am. Well, all right. So are they intelligent? Know the human Good hunting! See ya! Kinda of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Good hunting! What do you need? Sure, give me whatever you got.
Good morning, sir. What? I'm... If you come across any schematics in the wasteland, you'll be able to construct its contents on this specially designed table. I'll be sure and tidy up while you're away, sir.